As you can notice, this coin is in circulated condition with numerous ticks and small contact marks, but overall the striking definition of design elements is very pleasing. Almost no wear or die softness is evident on either side. The 1980 new 10 pence coin from United Kingdom features Queen Elizabeth II on upwards and crowned lion on the reverse. This coin made of copper nickel has weight of 11.3 grams and diameter of 28.5 millimeters. It was part of decimalization of British currency introduced in 1968 and replaced the predecimal florin. In terms of value, circulated coins typically range from 65 cents to $1.30 depending on their condition. Uncirculated or mint state coins MS60 to MS65 can fetch higher prices ranging from $2.60 to $6.50. Coins graded MS66 or higher can be valued at $13 or more. On eBay in the 1980, 10 new pence coin usually sells for around $1.30 to $3.25 for circulated examples. Uncirculated coins or those in exceptional condition can be priced between $3.90 and $10.40. Here is 2001 two pence struck by a British Royal Mint, featuring the fourth portrait of late Queen Elizabeth II on obverse side and badge of Prince of Wales on the reverse. This well struck red specimen is in about uncirculated condition with minimal contact marks and significant amount of mint luster on front side. Main distractions are these large carbon spots on the hair and facial part of central design. Made of copper plated steel, the coin has a weight of 7.12 grams and a diameter of 25.9 millimeters. This coin is part of the symbolization of British currency, which started in 1971. In terms of value, circulated coins typically range from 10 cents to 30 cents, depending on their conditions. Uncirculated or mint state coins can fetch higher prices, ranging from $1 to $2.50. Coins graded MS66 or higher can be valued at $5 or more. On eBay, the 2001 2 pence coin usually sells for around 30 cents to 75 cents for circulated examples. Here is heavily circulated 1996 one pound coin featuring the third portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. The 1996 one pound coin from United Kingdom features a Celtic cross with pimpernel flower in the center. On the reverse, representing the Northern Ireland, made of nickel brass, the coin has a weight of 9.50 grams and diameter of 22.5 millimeters. This coin is part of a series of one-pound coins that began in 1983. As important feature of this coin is its edge lettering, which reads "Decus et tutamen," meaning an ornament and safeguard. In terms of value, circulated coins typically range from 130 to 260, depending on their condition. Uncirculated or mint state coins can fetch higher prices, ranging from $5 to $10. Coins grade them as 66 or higher, so-called superb gems, can be valued at $15 or more. On eBay, the 1996 one-pound coin usually sells for around $2 to $5. For circulated examples, uncirculated coins or those in exceptional condition can be priced between $7.50 and $15, with some sellers listing graded coins for upwards $20. The 1957 two shillings, otherwise called florin, from United Kingdom features Queen Elizabeth II on obverse designed by Mary Gillick and Tudor rose flanked by Cecil's shamrocks and licks symbolizing the four nations of the United Kingdom. On the reverse, designed by Edgar Fuller and the Cecil Thomas. Made of copper and nickel, the coin has a weight of 11.3 grams and diameter of 28.3 millimeters. The florin was a part of predecimal currency system worth one tenth of a pound or 24 old pence. In terms of value, circulated coins typically range from one to three dollars depending on their condition. Uncirculated or mean state coins 
can fetch higher prices, ranging from $5 to $10. Coins graded MS66 or higher can be valued at $15 or more. Low denomination coins is one from Canada, the 2003 P Elizabeth II, Canadian 1 cent. This coin is in AU condition featuring numerous scattered carbon explosions and sharply struck motifs with minimal contact marks on either side. The obverse designed by Susanna Bland showcases Queen Elizabeth II while the reverse designed by G.E. Kruger Gray features a classic maple leaf tweak. The P mint mark signifies that the coin was produced at the Royal Canadian Mint using a special plating process. Made of copper plated zinc, it weighs 2.35 grams and has a diameter of 19.05 mm. Notably, this coin is part of the last series of Canadian one cent coins before they were discontinued in, in 2012. In terms of value, circulation coins typically range from 5 cents to 10 cents depending on their condition. Uncirculated or mint state coins can fetch higher prices ranging from $52 to $1. Coins graded MS66 or higher can be valued at $2 or more. On eBay, the 2003 P Canadian 1 cent coin usually sells for around $0.10 cents to $0.25 cents for circulated examples. Uncirculated coins are those in exceptional condition can be priced between $0.75 cents and $1.50. What an enchanting and shiny piece here is 2010 5 pence coin from United Kingdom featuring the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse designed by Iron Rank Broadley and segment of Tudor Rose on the reverse designed by Matthew Dent. Made of copper and nickel, the coin has weight of 3.25 grams and diameter of 18 millimeters. This coin is part of series where the reverse designs were introduced to form a part of single design across different denominations. In terms of value, circulated coins typically range from 10 cents to 30 cents depending on their condition. Uncirculated or mean state coins can fetch higher prices ranging from 1 to 250. Thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to hit that subscribe and ring the bell before you move on with another video. Your likes and comments are highly appreciated as well. Take care and God's willing, see you in the next video.